All right. A little bit. All right. Yeah, because you know people really care about the lighting on this show. Okay, so... I know some people are going to be waiting for this review. I know this for a fact, because everyone's been shedding on this movie. Before I talk about the movie, though, I kind of have to talk about my adventure coming to see the movie. Because even God was saying, dude, don't go see this. <laughs> <laughs> Because we were originally going to see this, like, it's like, uh, we ended up seeing a 250 showing, we were originally going for a 210 showing at a different theater that was cheaper, but on my way, on my way over here, there was this massive fire right off the freeway, and traffic was backed up for miles, and I guess the fire just started, too, yeah. because there were planes flying over, there was, like, one of those, like, fire helicopters dropping shit, like, ambulance going back and forth, some guy's car got burnt to a fucking crisp. And we, Hopefully he's okay. I have no idea. Like I didn't like the ambulances were gone by the time I drove past, so I have no idea what's yeah. going on there. But uh, it might be on the news tonight. Who knows? But uh, anywho, so that got me stuck there, not moving at all for thirty plus minutes <laughs> at least. I know that because in the time I was stuck there, not moving, I managed to pull out my phone, look up a new time in a theater for the movie, send a message to you, then call my girlfriend, talk to her for 30 minutes, hang up, and I still haven't moved. <laughs> and then I finally got here. I missed some of the trailers. Thank God they're all trailers we've gotten before, so we didn't really miss yeah, anything. The only one you didn't see what they came in time for was The Martian. Yeah, which, uh, I've seen that trailer before, so I can still talk about it. Yeah. But, uh, and then I still managed to get in time to see this piece of shit. And yeah, yeah, it's a, it's a piece of shit. Now, there's one person that's probably been watching this video who I, I kind of got a little bit into argument about this with. He says, like, oh, this is the worst movie of the decade. Like, it's worse than the 1994 version, which may be true. I don't know. I didn't see the 1994 version. <laughs> Neither did I. I don't think I want to. Uh, but either way, I was like, is it? No, it's not. It's it's really bad. It's god awful. Don't get me wrong. It's fucking terrible. It's probably going to make the list, but it's not the worst. We've seen the, some of the worst these past three years. Movie 43 is worse. Do you believe it's worse? Kirk Cameron Saving Christmas is worse, but I still love that movie to death. <laughs> We're watching that this Christmas. Uh, I think I'm good. Oh, come on! Have some fun, for God's sake. Don't be so serious. <laughs> mean like this movie? <laughs> yeah, we'll get to that. Oh, God. We'll get to that. There's wow! Smurfs 2 was worse. Girls 2 was worse. That's My Boy is worse. There's so many other movies that are worse than this one. But this is definitely worse than the other Fantastic Four movies, and it's worse than Pixels. So there you go. <laughs> That's where it kind of stands for me. Like, okay. Where do you even fucking start with how many things this movie fucks up about the franchise? Now, well, let's see. They don't have good... They pretty much f said, screw all of the family dynamic. They do not interact well with each other. They don't really like, hey, do anything with each other. Like, okay, here's the biggest problem with this movie is, is the fact that the comic books... I'm not a big Fantastic Four fan. So I imagine if you are, you're gonna be fucking furious in this movie, and I would not blame you one bit. But uh, but I know enough of the Fantastic Four to say like the whole point is it's supposed to be kind of campy, it's supposed to be yeah. kind of cheesy, and it's supposed to be again that the focus is the fact that they're a family and they get along, and they work together as such. Yeah. And that's what works about the Fantastic Four. Now this one, hey, let's take that concept that's entirely based around around family. And let's make them all really hateful of each other, really bitter, suck all the charisma out of all these talented actors, <laughs> and make them as bland as stale cornflakes. I mean, that's... Oh, and let's completely fuck up Dr. Doom for, like, the third time. <laughs> how hard is it to get Dr. Doom right? He's just supposed to be... He's Donald Trump in a mask! Uh, not quite. Uh, he, Dr. Doom has a much bigger God complex than Donald Trump, which should tell you something. Fair enough. But I'm trying to give him an idea. <laughs> no, I don't think that saying Donald Trump dramatic is a fair representation of Dr. Doom. Okay, here's... Now that we're talking about Dr. Doom, I was going to save this for later, but fuck it. Let's get into Dr. Doom now, because I was like... The frame one, when Dr. Doom appeared, I immediately facepalmed. <laughs> I did too, because they basically showed him like some emo gamer shut-in. I was like, oh... Now, I... like. Here's the thing about this movie, it's like, I've heard conflicting things that John Trask got on a record saying the Fox interfered a lot and they fucked a lot of his original vision up. From what I've seen of his original vision, that movie probably would have sucked too. Like, that's kind of the conclusion I came to, because I knew this Doctor Doom shit was in the original draft. Yeah. And I know they originally had a different name for him, but people didn't like it, so they changed yeah, it to Victor, Victor Von Doom. Yeah, something like that, so they changed it to the traditional Victor Von Doom. Okay, whatever, fine. It doesn't really matter either way. Okay. 
Now here's the problem. I don't give a shit what you call him. You can change his name whenever you want. As long as the character's still intact, I don't give a shit. Yeah, that was not Von Doom. That was not, no. Like, Doctor Doom, again, I'm not a big fan of the character, but I know Doctor Doom, when I see Doctor Doom, he has a presence. He has yeah. to have a physical and mental presence. Like, yeah. he, when he walks into a room, everyone needs to turn to look to him because he has such a, I am powerful, I don't yeah. need to say this, you just know that I am. Yeah, instead That's we got, Doctor Doom. Yeah. Instead we got the backstabber from frickin' plant, from the new Planet of the Apes movies. <laughs> I like Koba. <laughs> Koba. Oh. Oh, he was great as Koba. He was not good as Victor. Oh Von yeah, Doom. I forgot the same actor. I forgot the same yeah. actor. <laughs> and, uh, I thought he meant just as a character. Uh, yeah. Oh, so, I'm still laughing at the monkey cameo though. I was like, hey, it's Koba. Koba, <laughs> <laughs> or whatever the hell's name is. Koba. 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 Anyway, but no, like the, right off the bat, he's <laughs> this scrawny little dude who's this is really just emo, angsty, arrogant douchebag. Yeah. Doctor Doom should never be a douchebag. He should be a jerk. First and foremost, there is a fine line. Yeah. Because <laughs> I. Uh, yeah. Because as you said, he's basically as you said, he's got the god complex in which he believes he is the master of all life and but, all like, galaxies. I mean, like, but Doctor Doom, like, you look at him, you kind of believe it, to be honest. Because again, yeah. he has this, this physically Im imposing yeah. presence whenever he's in, in screen. But they're like, even though, like, yeah, he's an arrogant jackass, and of course, Reed Richards has always been smarter than him, like you still get why he would believe that and why other people would follow him. <laughs> because, like, when he says, I am God, a lot of times he has the firepower to back that statement up. Yeah. And, like, even the most recent comics, like, in the Secret Wars uh, things go on, he literally is God. <laughs> he just, he's that kind of powerful president. You don't get that for a second here. Yeah. And for a second, Doctor Doom doesn't have friends. That's another yeah. thing that, I, like... Every fucking one of these movies has missed so far is they focus on like the slight crush Doctor Doom has had on Sue Storm in the comic books. I mean, I don't know how strong it is in the comic books, not very, from what I know. But like, both the Tim Story movies and the John Trask film has strangely focused this as a character motivation for Doctor Doom, which yeah. never feels yeah. right. But even then, they barely even use it as a motivational factor in this. It was just like it was there and then it disappeared. Yeah, well, yeah, and even then, like. Even when he's supposed to be in the room, he's supposed to be presenting himself as the smart guy in the room, he just comes off as a douchebag. And he yeah. just comes off as just a no-one. I was like, oh, shut up, fuck, shut the fuck up, nerd. <laughs> like, he's the guy you would just pull the wedgie up and like, yeah. throw in the locker. <laughs> 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 Dr. Doom was bullied as a kid. <laughs> oh, 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 let's talk about that fucking shit. Ben Grimm. Ben Grimm, <laughs> okay. <laughs> hey, you know that, like, okay. Like, I was mad about this when I read about it, and I'm still mad about it when I saw it in action. Like, okay, let's take this super simple, deliberately campy catchphrase that Ben Grimm has, and let's use that as a metaphor for beating up your brother. <laughs> for physical abuse. Yeah. That's fantastic for... Yeah. The rest of the Ben Grimm was fine. Like, as far as characters go, he was actually the, one I was only, the only one I was okay with. Yeah, I was, for me, it's like, he, yeah, he was the one I was okay with. The other ones I found bland or frustrating. No, I completely agree. Because, uh, like, yeah, like, Mr. Fantastic, boring. As we said, Dr. Doom, whiny emo. Uh, oh, God, Sue Storm, bland is all holy hell. Yeah. And Johnny Storm was, he, like, here's that was the not Johnny Storm. He, they turned him into kind of a pansy. And here's the thing, like, again, it's just the fact that everyone just despises each other in this movie. Well, actually, no. I mean, well, most oh. fan, like, my, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Mr. Fantastic doesn't, Reed Richards doesn't really despise anyone. He's, he's trying, neutral. Uh, yeah, he's trying to help everyone. He's just, but so but, bland. <laughs> yeah. Like, here's the thing. Victor, no! Oh, God. <laughs> I was like, God. I saw that. I can't. I can't even think of that damn Fellowship of the Ring video game. It was just like when they killed Gandalf and that. I don't remember that. But... Oh God, it was great. Frodo's like, no. <laughs> that doesn't oh. beat the original Frodo response, you know. No! <laughs> That's my Frodo impression. <laughs> <laughs> you had your little pole dance last video. <laughs> <laughs> this is my moment from that. <laughs> yeah. Because, like, yeah, no, I agree. Like, problem is, like, the with a better script, this can work fine. 
Yeah, that's just, the most frustrating part about the movie. It's like yeah. I can see parts that would work okay yeah. in this because you have a good cast. Yeah. Like even like the Miles guy, I'm not a big fan of his, but I'll, he, he has charisma. Yeah, but here is just is he, he can be charming, but they just again, same thing with Michael B. Jordan. Exactly, just like, they just sucked it all out of him. Yeah, I think they got it from uh, the from Franklin Storm, where he just spoke in the exact same tone the entire movie. Uh, again, he was uh, another character uh, I was surprisingly okay with, but yeah. then again, maybe it's because I liked I liked his voice, <laughs> this very deep baritone shit. Uh, yeah. I was just like, okay, cool. If I can do that voice, yeah. I do it all the time too. <laughs> so that's my opinion of that. Uh, but again, just oh, they fucked up so much. Like, this is not the Fantastic Four. It, I'm not a big fan of the Fantastic Four, and I know it's not the Fantastic Four. Yeah. And again, the only reason we even exist is because they're trying to keep the rights for the Fantastic Four, not because they want to actually make a movie out of it. <laughs> Uh, yeah, that's, it, that's how we should have addressed for that one. <laughs> yeah. You make a Fantastic Four movie that has nothing to do with Fantastic Four? Genius! <laughs> <laughs> you can make it some meme generator. <laughs> <laughs> oh, by the way, you're welcome, by the way, for making that. I was like, oh, hey, cool, check out this thing. I went through this painstaking yeah. amount of process to actually make and put share with you, and your response is, no, you didn't do it right. <laughs> My, I had to resist every urge on the mention. Like, fuck you! <laughs> this took like a goddamn hour to get the borderline exactly right. <laughs> well, I appreciate the effort. <laughs> Thank you. That's all I wanted, asshole. <laughs> For those who have no idea what we're talking about, we made a joke in an episode of the comic cartoons. I don't know if I've even released it's, the episode yet. I don't think so. We are nowhere uh, near close enough to releasing that. Uh, but anyway, we make a joke about making a flash meme, like a sarcastic flash meme. Yeah. And and uh, I made like a prototype one. Uh, I think about this movie actually, and I sent it to you as a gift. But I had like I couldn't find that screenshot of him anywhere, so I had to look at the episode. I had to find the exact frame, take a screenshot of it, expand the border so I could fit text easier on it, and then I sent it to you. And my first response goes, "Well, this isn't quite what I had in mind for it, but <laughs> here's a better idea for it." It's like, hmm. <laughs> But I was nice. I was nice. Yes, you were, and I, I appreciate that. Uh, no, I, yeah, much me, more than I appreciated your efforts. Oh. <laughs> I'm getting nude, sir. <laughs> <laughs> Just, just, just hear like the you know the music that plays in Boromir dies and Lord of the Rings. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> hear that plays. I wake up in the morning. I see you read that comment. <laughs> 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 Or no, like the Titanic music, my heart will go on as a single tear rolls down my face. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> oh, we're trying to find enjoyment things that are better than this movie. I like. <laughs> oh, God. I mean, like, I can't, I keep watching movie. I, like, back to the movie, though, like, there are parts of this, I can see parts yeah. of this working fine. Like, the scene when Doctor Doom finally appears, and by the way, out of fucking nowhere does all that shit pop up. Yeah. Like he shows up, me and starts killing people five seconds later. Yeah. But it's like, how did it's like, how did it go from super slow to nothing happening to suddenly everything happening at once? Yeah, and then of course, I mean everyone quickly wraps up their issues and everyone yeah. quickly learns how to work together, blah blah blah. It's like, okay, great. This would have been a lot better if you actually built up to this. Yeah. Actually had these characters together from the beginning and actually talking to each other throughout the movie. Instead, yeah. I don't think the Thane and Sue Storm even have a scene together until the very end. Pretty much. And, uh, that, goes, and that goes for, like, F Mr. Fantastic, too. Like, he runs away at the beginning when after they get their powers, and he doesn't pop up again until, like, the very end. So, I'm like, I don't even get why he ran away. Like, that confused me. Like, oh, because he was scared and didn't want to be scared. Because oh, like, after he realized, like, you know, the Thane's <laughs> doing okay, all their friends are even doing okay, you'd think he'd come back just to, so if anything, yeah. got the opportunity to work with them and try to fix them. Yeah. Even though he says you think they really care about it, I was like, well, you can still do something about a dickwad. Oh. Yeah, I thought he was. Like, it looked like he was trying to, you know, do the uh, the teleporter thing, which they, he didn't address at all. Yeah, like he says he's finding parts. They never said what he was doing. No, they implied that he was trying to build a new teleporter. Uh, is that what? The, I don't know. Yeah, because they said it, it was a one man thing or something like that. I guess. Either way, they go to the actual teleporter. Regan takes one and goes, They made it ugly. It's like, Did the original one look that good to you? <laughs> I don't yeah. Basically, he made the comment that I did about the Flash Thompson thing. <laughs> <laughs> what? Oh, they made it ugly? <laughs> Fuck you. <laughs> I'm just saying, it was that kind of, you know, all this effort. <laughs> Asshole. <laughs> yeah, I'm acknowledging it. Fair enough. 
<laughs> At least we can make fun of each other. Yeah, yeah. Uh, oh, so, oh. I mean, oh, shit. God. I mean, I can see where they're drawing influence from the comic books. I can see yeah. stuff from like the ult. There's a lot of it draws attention from the Ultimate Fantastic Four uh, yeah. comic books. That, that so in the fan in the Ultimate ones, he was a high he was a high school graduate going straight into basically actually. Huh. Okay. <laughs> yeah. So that was basically what he was. Uh, it was a lot of kind of the same thing. Like this one, there was more of they they got uh, put into a super super high tech like only for super geniuses school. Yeah. Uh, where I think like Tony Stark even went, or like uh, James Rhodey did, I think at one point. Mm. Uh, but in this one, Victor Von Doom was kind of the same thing. He was kind of he's not great in that series either. It's worth noting. Uh, but actually, they kind of fucked up Doctor Doom in the Ultimate series. They eventually made it better, but for that first <laughs> couple series, like wow, this is really bad. Yeah. Um. Uh, but it did involve like teleportation of the negative zone, which is what this is supposed to be. And here's another gripe I have of the movie. Oh, I did forget. I mean, one scene I mentioned earlier was Doctor Doom, Doctor Doom starts killing people randomly. Yeah. But like the scene where he's walking down the hallway and like people <laughs> kind of start dying left and right, and when he's alongside him, I actually really like the way that scene is shot. Yeah. Not so much when they pan to his face and looks like a Doctor Who villain, but yeah. like, but when, like, when he just has like the over the shoulder shot, Aaron just keeps dying while he's casually walking yeah. by. I thought that was actually pretty cool. Like, I actually thought, like, uh, if this was done right, that could be a genuinely horrific thing to watch. Yeah. Like, that could work in, like, a, a but, good horror movie, but this is not that kind of movie because the script is awful. <clears throat> the script is awful. Like, it's, again, like, if the, I had the right script, this story could work. Yeah. But you have such an awful script, and you have such, like... Yeah. Again, I don't know how much of it is Trask, how much of it is studio interference, but... I don't care. It just... It sucked. Yeah, and, like, I really liked Chronicles. I thought Crown Quest was a really good movie. Yeah! Like, so, like, I don't know how you got from that to this. Well, because they had a better writer for that, apparently. Yeah, I guess yeah, so. Yeah, the son but... of John Landis. I don't know who that is. Uh, John Landis did a lot of, like, those major 80s movies. Uh, he was, like... Pete Commando? Let me, <laughs> no, let me double check. Uh, he did a lot of, like, the teen comedies slash dramedies. So, uh, dude, where's my car? The good ones. And I said the <laughs> 80s. <laughs> oh, I just wanted, oh, that's 90s, right? Yeah. Uh, but anyway, while you're looking that up, I guess I'll talk about the movie. Uh, but like I said, the only part I really liked about it was oh, Blues Brothers. There we go. Oh yeah, Blues Brothers is a weird ass movie. I watched that for the first time recently. I was like, this. Yeah. I can't. I can't tell if I like it or not. It's kind of fucking weird. Yeah. Uh, oh. Uh, yeah. But he has an awesome, like an awesome filmography. Um, I'll show it to you, to you later. Yeah, we'll talk about it later. But uh, okay. anywho, <laughs> but uh, what was I talking about before Doctor Doom though? We really liked Chronicle. And uh -huh. how that was, an, and how much it's like, yeah, like how, basically, how did he go from Chronicle to this? Mm hmm. It's like my big problem with the fact is, is just the fact that man, you could have spent a lot less time on these characters bickering and more times on like having actually having fun <coughs> or better with yet, the concept and like focusing less on the science, mm hmm. Focusing on this, like, basically, it's like the complaint. One of the complaints my friend had about Man of Steel. This is, like, this is so much worse no, than Man uh, of Steel. Oh, no, it was. <laughs> but he said his problem with Man of Steel was how that movie focused on, like, what Superman could do versus what he was becoming. Yeah, I mean, I and can see like that. This, and this movie did that to the tenth, to the nth degree. Mm. Uh, I, can, I can see where you're going with that. I mean, it doesn't bother me too much because a lot of Fantastic Four is the yeah. science, so that doesn't bother me too much. Yeah, but... I you, mean, I definitely see what you're saying. Yeah. But when you need to, you know, build up characters... <laughs> well, like, the problem I... The biggest problem I find with this movie, and I, I read the Kotaku article, at least read the title of the Kotaku article, it said, Fantastic Four is the most so self-loathing superhero movie that I have ever seen. And it's kind of hard not to see that, because it feels like it's almost a shame to be a superhero movie. Yeah. And just the way, like, the characters act, and the way, like, how they just treat their powers as such, like, this is the worst thing to ever happen to me, even though, you know, I can fly and make force fields and do all cool kinds of cool shit. That's the worst thing ever. And it's like, yeah, I'm not normal. You look normal. You can act normal. All you gotta do is not do things in front of people. I mean, I can get why Ben Grimm's pissed. He, yeah. I mean, The Rock took his penis away. I'd be mad too. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I love how like the rocks just magnetically attacked him. Yeah, I don't know. Like, and even Dr. Doom's power set is so confusing too. Like, I can like, blow up everyone's minds except for the Fantastic Four. Yeah, like, or, like that's what I pointed out. Like, no, like, that's what's bugging me too. Like, <laughs> like, so wait, can they not affect him because <laughs> they're from the negative, like, because they were also affected by negative zone? Does yeah. he just not want to kill them? What exactly is the point here? Yeah, I never uh, explained. Plot demands is so we can pat it out. <laughs> Pretty much. Even though the fight scene only lasts like two minutes, so it's kind of yeah. pointless there too. Oh, here's, oh, that I remember I was gonna talk about earlier is, uh, for some reason, 
Fox forgets that Fantastic Four has more than one villain. Yeah. More than two villains, I should say, because I'm not... You know, fuck it, I'm going to include one villain, because that Galactus Space Cloud doesn't count. <laughs> <laughs> but, uh... Like, you have the Fantastic Four going into the negative zone. Why couldn't Annihilus be the villain? Do you know what Annihilus is? No, for a second they said Annihilist. <laughs> Might as well. Well, yeah, yeah well, actually, they, it was. It was Doctor Doom in this. Because, yeah. <sighs> like, Annihilus would have been a lot of fun to have in this movie. That's a problem, though. Oh, fun. We can't have that in this movie. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, get out of the way, action excitement. There's a new horse yeah. in town. His name is Fantastic Four. <laughs> you want a lot of hair, a lot of talking, but no action? <laughs> Watch Fantastic Four today. <laughs> you want only the promise of watching stuff from scenes that have already happened? Watch the Fantastic Four today. You want to watch the Thane Smash stuff? Too bad. Yeah. You'll get to see that in newsreels. Although I will say, I did notice they did nix a lot of stuff from the trailers. Uh, like, there are a lot of scenes that I remember seeing in which, like, like, the Fantastic Four did a lot more. Uh, and like, kind of the build-up is the leads up of them, like, trying to use their powers. Um, like, which scenes? Like, wasn't they like, airdropped Grimm in that one place in the dark? That is true, uh, they did drop, they did uh, that. Uh, they mentioned stuff where, like, Storm was like, I also need a fireproof room or something like that. So it felt like, you which know... Which would've been fun! That yeah. could've been fun! Like, uh... Yeah, that could have been fun at least. And watch yeah. them kind of learn how to work their powers, learn to work with each other. That's what a good Fantastic Four movie should do. Yeah. And, like, watching this again just makes me think, can Marvel just get the rights back? I mean, for the love of God. I mean, I don't know if they're even going to do anything with it, but just give it back. Yeah. Because they they do more than what the fuck you're doing right now. Yeah, even their weakest movies are still way better. Yeah, like, even, like, Iron Man 2, which is not a good movie. Yeah. It's, for me, Iron Man 2, Thor 2, and Ant-Man were, like... I thought Ant-Man was better than some of the other ones, but... Oh, I was. I was saying, even them being, like, as I was saying, even though I consider those the weakest of the bunch, they are... I, I, I mean, I would put They it, are still, like... Average at worst is pretty damn respectable. I mean, I'd, I'd probably put like Iron Man 2, Thor 2, and Incredible Hulk before I put Ant-Man on there, but... Incredible Hulk 2, I at least had fun for the most part. I had a lot of fun with Ant-Man. Yeah. Annoying side characters yeah. aside. I'm not sure. I think it was just with Ant-Man, it felt like it was a little too restrained for me, surprisingly. Like, it had like... Well, oh, you know, we'll talk about it later. <laughs> Fantastic Four! Yes. I, I can't yeah. think of too much else to talk about. I mean, is this one of those things... You know um, it's gonna suck. I, it's one of those ways I want this to be good because I like the people behind yeah. it, but it's just like ugh, there's really nothing to recommend here. Like I like the way that they, like the thing was the only redeem, even remotely redeeming quality about this movie because yeah. I liked the way he looked and I liked the way that he talked and I liked the way that he moved. I thought that all that worked okay, yeah. but that's it. Yeah. Also, that was the only character development they ever seemed to have. The stuff between Ben Grimm and uh, which I could have used a lot more of because again they only have like th maybe three scenes together. Yeah. And like but, um, you no. know what's bad when the only charisma you get from any of the characters is when the characters are fucking drunk. <laughs> Which leads me to another problem. Why in the name of God will you listen to a drunk high schooler that says, let's go to another fucking dimension? Because they're genius drunk high schoolers. <laughs> a genius a genius drunk is still a drunk. <laughs> and a drunk is, a, is an idiot. I am sorry. Well, maybe unless it's Stephen Hawking, but <laughs> I don't know. But even then, it's just like, oh, God, no. I think that, to be fair, like, the, like that's the kind of... Oh. To be fair, that's yeah. kind of the way it's in comics, too. That was the other thing that pissed me off. It's like, all right, we're going to get NASA to help. Well, why don't we get the army and the everything to, like, take all the political prisoners there, too? I'm just like, what the hell does NASA have to do with the military and prisoners? Like, I'm actually glad you mentioned that, because I was actually just going to bring that up. Is yeah. the fact that, why wouldn't you work with NASA? <laughs> yeah. Also, <laughs> that was kind of my kind of thing. You committed, you just did intergalactic space travel, and you all just went, yeah. Yeah. That's kind of like, in everything in this movie, yeah. though. Like, even the kids at the very beginning. Oh, God, yeah. Like, we were laughing at this because it was so bad. Because uh, the kid who got to play, he's... Uh, it's just like, the yeah. kid they got to play Reed Richards. Oh, my God. It's so god-awful. Yeah, it's like... Because he has this big, long speech, and it's so painfully obvious he's reading from a yeah. cue card. In the fact, it's like, it's like, when he does his self-correction, he's just, like, still staring straight ahead. He's still staring ahead. Eyes aren't moving. Eyebrows, like, people forgot to tell, like, the actors that eyebrows work in this movie. Yeah. It's almost like, it's like, it'll happen after I make an attempt. Second attempt. Yeah. And he's just like, he looks straight ahead. No change in inflection. It was just, oh, dear God. It was really bad. Uh, and then, oh, what's happened afterwards at the high school science fair? Where, 
once again, he committed intergalactic space travel and is like, we don't yeah. have time for your magic voodoo here, yeah. <laughs> Reed. For fuck you, Reed. Yeah, we like, don't want your science and magic. Your witchcraft. <laughs> and we're just like, baby, it's witchcraft. <laughs> and although I know it's strictly taboo, <laughs> kind of like Fox making a Fantastic Four movie. <laughs> <laughs> Oh. I'll be here all week. Tap your waiters. <laughs> or oh, God. It's like the funny part is going back to the NSA thing. Uh, the only thing I could think of was uh, that monologue from Goodwill Hunting. <laughs> you know what I'm talking I about? I have not seen that movie yet. I know I need to. <laughs> okay, well, I, I, I wrote, I pulled it up because I forgot. Okay, I have to say so it's like, okay, why shouldn't I work for the NSA? That's a tough one, but I'll take a shot. See, this is what you call a read, people. This is what you don't do in acting when you're acting film and the cameras are actually rolling. Say I'm working for the NSA. Somebody puts a code on my desk. Somebody nobody else can break. Maybe I take a shot at it, maybe I break it. I'm real happy with myself because I did my job well. Maybe that code was the location of some rebel army in North Africa or the Middle East. Once they had the location, they bombed the village where the rebels were hiding and 1,500 people I never met, never had no problem with, get killed. Now the politicians saying, oh, sending the Marines to secure the area because they don't give a shit. I won't, be the, I won't be their kid over there getting shot. It's just like it wasn't them with their uh, numbers get called because they weren't pulling a tour of National Guard. It was some kid from Southie taking shrapnel in the ass. And he comes back to find a plan he used to work and get exported to the country he just got, got back from, and the guy who put the shrapnel in his ass got his old job because he'll never work 15 cents a day, a day and no bathroom breaks. Meanwhile, he realized the only reason he was over there in the first place so we could in install a government that would sell oil at good price. And of course, the oil com companies use skirmishes over there to scare up uh, domestic oil prices. Key little, you get the idea. Yeah. <laughs> he goes over this for, again, like three other gigantic paragraphs. <laughs> so he's like, how the hell did he jump to that conclusion? He's like, dude, he pulled a Google hunting. <laughs> <laughs> and to be fair, that's what they did! <laughs> yeah. Like, hmm, they almost blew up a whole alternate dimension, almost died. We can use this to get more superpowers. <laughs> to be fair, yeah, you might as well give it a shot. <laughs> yeah, oh, that was the other thing. A little thing that bugged me at first is like, so wait, why is it that when he touched that green, when Doom touched that green goop, nothing happened? But when it touched him later, it melted everything on him? <laughs> I don't know. It's kind of like the it's these signs, like all oh, right, it's like like it's a crocodile Dundee version of science. You're <laughs> like, all right, look over there. That's a green space goo. Like, I don't know. I have no I idea crocodile what it's hunter. Crocodile hunter. Thank you. Yeah. Crocodile hunter. Uh, look over there. That's some green space goo. I have no idea what it does. I can if I get lost in, I'm gonna die. I'm gonna touch it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna poke out my finger. It's angry! It's angry! <laughs> <laughs> and followed by Victor, no! Yeah. <laughs> Which is like almost as bad as a troll to read. Yeah. <laughs> they're eating them! Then they're gonna eat me! Oh, oh my, my god! god! <laughs> John, that was for you. <laughs> <laughs> I have a friend named John who lives out in the East Coast. He loves that movie. <laughs> For the same reason I have Kirk Cameron yeah. saving Christmas. Uh, that, this freaking movie. You know what's funny? When you think about it, there is, there is a connection you can make between this and the Marvel Universe. Yeah. Is that the leader is in this movie. From The Incredible Hulk. Yeah. The same scientist that uh, Bruce Banner goes to. Yeah. To, and he ups up the abomination. Yeah. Same guy that played the, the government liaison in this movie. Ha! <laughs> 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 so the leader is behind the Fantastic Four. <laughs> kind of ironic when you think about it. Yeah. <sighs> Do you have anything else to say? I, I kind of tapped out my rants. We're, we're done. It's just, it is so, for like the first it's insulting hour and a half, yeah. it is boring, like barely. An hour any. and a half of an hour and 40 minute movie. <laughs> no, it was actually like two hours. No, I, I liked it before I got here. It's like an hour and 46. Wow, that movie seemed freaking long. <laughs> yeah. Holy hell. <laughs> yeah. I didn't think like it didn't drag. I thought that was like more than two hours. Nope. Thank God we didn't have an after credit scene. Yeah. I, I, what could they have done? Unless the mole man comes up like the end of the Incredibles, and yeah. it's, I don't fucking care. Yeah. Which. Yeah. By oh. the way, you know we better. You know what's bad when the Fantastic Four movie was done better by fucking Pixar. <laughs> now we're just ripping off honest trailers. Point. Still, he's, they're, they're right though. It's true. It is like, and I knew that way back then. Yeah. Like, but, it's like, I mean, oh, did we mention our the line from Doom that ticked us off? Uh, to be fair, that has one they they said in the comics before too. 
At least I think yeah. so. I could be wrong. I mean, on there that. is no victor, only doom. Yeah, that one. Like that is. It still felt like they ripped off Ghostbusters. I'm sorry. Yeah, that movie's only an hour and forty six minutes. Okay, but and also, I was a little like, what the hell when they? Uh, yeah, spoiler alert. Uh, Sue and Johnny Storm's parents die. Her father. Father. Yeah, he just. Yeah, I don't know. I don't care at this point. And it just—I love how it's just like he wasn't doing anything. Why did you blow him up? Yeah, because do. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I'm a Doctor Who villain now. I yeah. must kill everyone. Seriously, look at the pictures. Like the not the uh, Daleks, like the other Doctor Who robots. Them faces look exactly the same. Yeah. <laughs> Pretty much, kind of like the inter it, like permanent, you know, sex doll face. Yeah. You know? <laughs> <laughs> Dr. Doom the sex doll. That is what it looked like. <laughs> I could not put my finger on it. Oh, how you feeling? How you feeling today, Doom? <laughs> <laughs> I feel very angry. <laughs> You're destroying the planet. It's about as subtle as cars, too. <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> God damn it. Also, there was one line I remember I kind of got. I was like kind of laughing at just the awkwardness of some of it. God, some of the dialogue in this movie too. It's like you know, like a great version of this movie would be is. Uh, did you ever watch the like the Earth to Mighty uh, Avengers cartoon? A little bit. A little bit. There was one episode in the last and second and unfortunately last season where they did go to the negative zone and they had they built like a prison out there to hold supervillains, yeah. which is actually was in the comics. Uh, but anyway, like eventually, like Annihilus comes in. He's the villain, but he doesn't talk. He communicates through like his like, but he has a giant like insect army, and it plays out like a great like alien style horror movie. Right. It's like and that like because they're stuck in the stage, and like that would have been a great setup for a Fantastic Four movie, something along those lines. And you would have used a different goddamn villain than Doctor Doom. Yeah. It's like Superman with Lex Luthor. Okay, I've seen him in five goddamn movies. Can we move on to a different villain, please? Yeah, anyway, I think we can just stop talking about this review now. Just, yeah. Uh, so, I guess talk about the two trailers we didn't we didn't get before, which is The Martian, which I actually think looks pretty good. Yeah. Like, I'm actually really, I mean, I'm looking at really Scott's directing it, because I haven't seen a good movie with Scott movie in a long time. Uh, it depends if you like Prometheus. I thought it was okay. But yeah. I was a little surprised they edited this trailer ever so slightly. Uh, what it, did they change? They changed, I gotta science the shit out of this place, to I gotta science the hell out of this. Well, yeah, I mean, it's a... No, but... In every theater I went to, they said, I'm going to science the shit out of this. And I was a little urged that they toned it down. Is it that big of a deal? No, but <laughs> I'm not sure. I think I was just looking for... I was trying to gear up my anger for this movie. <laughs> I geared up my anger when I said, one for Fantastic Four, please. <laughs> <laughs> my anger got especially geared up when I had to pay four extra dollars compared to the original ticket price. So I was... Act of I God. Know. was not I my know. fault. We should have listened. <laughs> At that point, Instead they... of the burning bush, you got the burning car. <laughs> oh, dude, well, that's not cool. Somebody might have died. Okay, how about instead of the burning bush, the burning landscape? There you go. At least I think nobody died. I hope not. I hope not. I was like, you really are a jackass. <laughs> First you hurt my feelings, and then you insult the dead, you prick. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, oh, God! <laughs> oh! Oh, God! The insult just keep coming. I was like... I was like, yeah, that was a pretty bad burn. Oh, dear. Oh. <laughs> now I can't say flame on without feeling bad. <laughs> we are terrible people. It's not the worst thing we've said in this show. <laughs> <laughs> you know, it's a good thing like the worst comments I've said have been lost in like hours and hours of video, so like no one will ever find it. <laughs> Watch, no one's gonna make a montage of all the terrible things I've said. Gonna need a montage. <laughs> gonna need a montage. I mean, it can't be worse than what I said during the Vampire Academy review. Yeah. <laughs> by accident, by the way. Right, uh, so. Oh wait, there is one thing. One, it's one more thing about Fantastic Four I want to talk about. Which is the feeling of levity at the very, very end of the movie. Yeah. Which felt entirely unwarranted and entirely unearned. And, as I said, that's when they really made uh, Johnny a jackass. Yeah, I don't no, know. Like that, that comment he made at Grimm was like... The thing that nobody wanted. I was like, wow! Uh, I was like... It was just a way yeah. to sneak in his name in there. Like, yeah, but it was like... I thought they already did that before, though. I don't oh, wait, think no. They, no, they didn't. Oh, wait, no. That was when they said Doc 
say, oh, look, it's Doctor Doom. Yeah, I mean... Oh, God! Which, oh. you know, there's a fun little game you can play in this uh, movie called... Uh, Track, where did they do the reshoots? And the first indicator is the hair that constantly changes on Sue Storm. Yeah. From hair colors to styles to pitch, like everything about her hair just keeps changing randomly throughout the entire movie. So that was really distracting. You can also tell, like, I'm not good with ADR, but even I fucking noticed this shit. Yeah. Like, I, even like and when they go into the uh, negative zone, it sounded like they dubbed over their own voices. Yeah. And like, even like, it's like, uh, here we have. Victor Von Doom. Oh, he's a dangerous one, that one. Yeah. Did you notice that? I think I can't remember. <laughs> I just... Uh, it's such a bad movie. Yeah. Uh, just, as we said, it's just next to no character development. Bland is all hell. Ser like, super, like... A wasted opportunity. Yeah, serious and just, like, dour for, like, the first four fists. Then all of a sudden it turns into an... Act, tries to be an actual superhero movie. I mean, if and even then, it just falls flat because, like... What, they resolve, like, said, what, two... Like, just a couple <laughs> minutes? I mean, it's like... If you can make a movie called Ant-Man work... If you can yeah. make a movie called The Guardians of the Galaxy with a tucking goddamn raccoon... Did you say work. tucking? If I said fucking. I used to say I said fucking. Uh, with, <laughs> with a fucking talking raccoon... Everything okay? Yeah. <laughs> okay. You, if you can make that movie work and make it fun, there is no fucking reason it should be this hard to make a Fantastic Four movie. Like, there is no reason it should be this hard. Yeah. But so we've had four attempts at this, and they have failed every time. And a cartoon series. That also fucking sucked. Two cartoon series that fucking sucked. I don't remember the cartoon series being that bad. I'm not talking about the six... I'm not talking about the one that came out like in the 70s, 80s. I'm talking about the one that came out, like, early 2000s. That was anime. <laughs> Oh, I was thinking the 90s one. It was in the 90s? I know it was animated, it was really bad. There was an anime Fantastic Four? Yes. It did not last long. Because I remember they had Wolverine, X-Men, and... No, you're thinking of a different era at Cartoon. This is one that okay. came out years later. And it was bad. I think it only lasted one season. <laughs> yeah. Because I, I, I remember I tried watching one episode. I thought, <laughs> this is... I was younger back then. I thought... Even then, I thought, this is yeah. terrible. I think it came out around, like, yeah. uh, around the time, like, Teen Titans was in its third yeah. season. Okay. Yeah. But I was my man by the anime thing was, like, in terms of anime Marvel stuff. Iron Man. That was the other one. Oh, yeah, yeah. That, that one sucked, too, from what I heard. Yeah. But... Um, but well, there was a... No, this one came before then. Yeah. Like, the one I remember was just, like, the early to mid-90s animated cartoon. Yeah, there was another one that came out years later, but oh, no, one really, no one remembers it except me, because I remember how bad it was. <laughs> I didn't even know that thing existed. Don't, like, don't look it up. I won't. Uh, I'm, so, I'm going to stick back to that, to the mid-90s one, where they had Ghost Rider staring yeah. down Galactus. <laughs> yeah. <that's, laughs> you remember? I do remember that clip. <laughs> We need a Ghost Rider TV series. That'd be fun. Get Nicolas Cage back. <laughs> no. Oh, come on, dude. He was awesome. <laughs> I will still vehemently defend those crappy movies. Uh, see, those are crappy more movies that I like. Because <laughs> at least I can have fun with them. Uh, anywho. So, I guess we should talk about the trailer that for a movie that we're both looking forward to, which is Deadpool. Yes! You're way more excited. Like, this is a case, like, a reverse scenario where you're way more excited about I'm much more cautious. Yeah. About no, it. I'm still cautious, but I can be in denial. <laughs> <laughs> like, it's, it's like, let me just enjoy this. Mm -hmm. Well, it's like, uh, there are a lot of things I like about it, and there's a lot of things that I'm concerned about it with. Yeah. Namely, like, the Deadpool is only as good as his writing. And yeah. so far, like, in the trailer, I kind of find the humor kind of hit and miss. Yeah, like, it is pretty childish, but... Yeah, I mean, like, granted, that's kind of Deadpool, but, like... What I want to see in Deadpool movie is the as, and they're drawing a lot of influence from this, which I'm glad to see. Which is I want to see a proper adaptation of the Joe Kelly Deadpool run, which had a lot of vintage '90s absurdity to it, and a lot of the and basically that's what made Deadpool popular was that series because it was so fucking good. Yeah. Because the humor was there. Uh, they they have Blind Al who was in this movie. Uh, she's a black woman in this right. one. Uh, so I was very happy to see her. They have the main villain came from that series, which is like Ajax, something like that. And Weasel, who's played by T.J. Miller. Yeah. Which, you know, we all know my feelings about T.J. Miller. Uh, He's one of those guys who are like, if he plays the right kind of annoying, I can get behind it. This feels kind of like an interest. This feels like it works for him. I don't know. We'll see. Like, I'm going to give him a shot. Like, I'm yeah. being generous on this one. I mean... He's not who I pictured as Weasel, but he'll... Okay, he'll do. Yeah. Like, honestly, I kind of... Topher Grace might have been a good Weasel. <laughs> yes. Like, I, like basically... Yeah, it's like, like, I'm thinking back to Predators, and I'm like... Yeah! 
Like, based on what I know from the comics, I can actually see Topher Grace playing that role pretty well. But, you know, I'll give T.J. Miller a shot. Yeah. Uh, Ryan Reynolds, yeah, I have no problem with this casting. I think he's perfect for the role. Yeah. Uh, and he's clearly passionate about it, so I respect that. Yeah, the fact that he's stuck around for 10 years to get this thing made. I mean, just the fact that it's being made and the way it's being made, it's nothing sort of a goddamn miracle. And it's a huge risk for Fox. And I respect the, the chance they're willing to take that chance. So I have a huge respect for that. What? Yeah. Not only they could have taken a chance on Fantastic Four. Well, they did. Oh, wait, they, they did. Uh, <laughs> yeah. And well, this as movie tanked. Yeah. Tanked at the box office, so which means we we'll probably won't get another Fantastic Four movie anytime soon. <laughs> Try <Trying> tanked. <laughs> that was terrible, I know, but I'm trying to find reasons for laughter. You know, it's bad. This movie's more a train wreck than the movie Train Wreck. <laughs> yeah, Train Wreck was just average. Yeah, that was okay. Yeah. Um. Uh, yeah, I know. I kind of stole that joke from somebody else. It's an easy joke to make. But, anywho. Yeah. Um, yeah, I mean, like I said, I'm I'm cautiously optimistic. Because it looks yeah. like they're drawing resources from the uh, the right place. Because yeah. the best part about Joe Kelly's run was not, like, and this is probably half of the more newer Deadpool stuff, is the fact that Joe Kelly was, was not a... Was, always exuberant with Deadpool's humor, but he was also not afraid to show just how much of a fucked up character Deadpool is. Yeah. And they they weren't made afraid to make him point out the fact that he's not a good guy. He is a fucking villain, for all intents and purposes. Yeah. And he's fucking scary when he wants to be. Like, there's a part in the comic books where there was a big uh, kind of running gag how uh, Blind Al started out as, like, Deadpool's hostage that just yeah. kind of turned into a roommate. And they, they keep insisting, like, yeah, she's still a hostage. And then you find out the reason how fucked up that how much Deadpool tortured her during, like, her initial stay. Like, she she's blind, so he put her in a room filled with booby, booby traps. <laughs> so every time she moved, she would trigger something that would, could possibly kill her every time. And they pointed out how insanely fucked up that is. Yeah. So I was like, Deadpool, not a nice guy. And, like, that's something I feel like the newer series have lost. Ironically, we've lost the seriousness oh, of Deadpool. Oh, you need to watch Deadpool Kills the Marvel Universe. Fair, well, like, read. I mean, that's like it highlights the humor, and it's like, but it, it doesn't really point out yeah. how much of a serious kid. No, it do, that it is does. the entire point. Is it? They're saying, what if basically the entire premise is, what if everything you loved about Deadpool was used to like basically do all this, all these terrible things, mm -hmm. like to actually harken back to like what he really was. Okay, I mean, I'll give that a read then. Cause, yeah. Because I feel like, like he, a lot of the best, like, there were some moments where in the Deadpool series where I almost cried. Like, there were some really good character moments and that shows how much of a complex character yeah. Deadpool is. He also did some good job with that in the Marvel Ultimate uh, Alliance game. Um, in the Alliance game? Marvel Ultimate Alliance, yeah. Like, when you talk where? to uh, Talking to him, there's some point where, like, it was one of the best moments where actually it explained his character fairly well, too. It's like, where, like, you say a lot of crazy things, you know that? You think I'm crazy? Well, let me tell you something. You know, how crazy people say, say, uh, say strange things because they're crazy. Mm. I say these things to keep myself from going oh, crazy. Oh yeah, yeah, I remember that. The too. things I have seen and done <laughs> will make your mind melt. <laughs> it's like, you know what? Let's make that band you were talking about. Yeah, we can all wear capes. Yeah, I remember that now. <laughs> I remember that now. I, I'm like. Uh, I mean, the big story arc of Joe Kelly's run was uh, Deadpool trying to turn around and trying to become the good guy, but every chance he has, he either completely fucks it up or life fucks it up for yeah. him. And it's kind of like a rise and fall kind of story. It's a great story. Yeah. It's an absolute great story. Yeah. I just realized, weren't we... Also, weren't we supposed to be ending this review? Well, we're talking about Deadpool. That's, that's fair. I know, but if, <laughs> this feels like something we should be doing for, like, a standalone video. <laughs> I might, actually. I've been considering making it a yeah. standalone video. Uh, but, anywho. Yeah. So, yeah, I guess uh, final thoughts on Fantastic Four? Don't watch it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that about sums it up. Uh, we got better movies this week to catch up on, though, at least. The so, Gift, Shaun the Sheep, and what was the other one? Well, we may or may not check out Ricky and the Flash, but I'm kind of leaning towards no, because that's where I have three movies this week, and I need to save money. Yeah. Gonna be, and I'm going to be out of town next week, so don't expect too much content there. Uh, I think I said this poor, not by choice, necessarily, because <laughs> I don't think my girlfriend will let me. Uh... Better hope she doesn't see this video then. <laughs> <laughs> eh, it's okay, she already knows it. Okay. Because <laughs> I've already asked. <laughs> it's like, babe, one movie, one movie is in theaters. Can we go check it out? No. Turn off the goddamn camera. All right, fine. <laughs> so, yeah. We'll see if I can catch up Man, uh, man from Uncle before I leave. So, all right, thank you guys for watching. See you all next time.